Hey there, it's Reagan from Prima Coffee, and this is the all new Knock Air Grind. Knock has released an updated version of the Air Grind, and it maintains all of the features that we love about the Air Grind, like its portable size and stepless grind adjustment, but with new refined features. It comes with two silicone grip band options. You have the orange or the black, it's just a matter of preference. And it has a travel friendly silicone band that allows you to take the crank arm off, store it comfortably in the side, um, and it makes it even better for travel. So the crank arm on this model is 20% thicker than the previous, and you definitely feel that additional stability when you're grinding compared to the previous model. It has a really pretty walnut pommel at the end, a magnetic lid with laser etched grind settings. It has a threaded grinds catch, and this model stands a little bit taller and slimmer than the previous. It's six and a half inches tall, but it still maintains a hopper capacity of 20 to 25 grams. It also is equipped with 38 millimeter conical tin burrs, which are the same burrs as the previous model, but they are not coated in ceramic. And it has a sturdier axle end bearings. So what makes the air grind unique and really stand out from other hand grinders is that it was designed to fit perfectly into your AeroPress. So this makes it the perfect option for uh, travel, whether you're backpacking with limited space for your coffee equipment, or if you are looking to make a single cup at home and you want a grinder with a full grind range and a stepless grind adjustment. All right, so let's go ahead and grind with the air grind. We're gonna grind for an AeroPress. There's 14 grams in the hopper right now, and it would be a medium fine setting, which is one and a half rotations. One full revolution on the air grind has 36 tick marks. So a good way to gauge your grind settings is by revolution and then how many ticks additionally after that. So I'm gonna grind. The air grind poses a very smooth grinding process and you can grind for the finer grind ranges pretty quickly and without a lot of struggle. So some loose grinding parameters for the air grind is if you're looking for that really fine grind like espresso or Turkish, it's gonna be between the burrs touching and that first full revolution. So somewhere between the zero and the one revolution. If you're looking for a medium fine grind like we did with the AeroPress or like a single cup V60, you will do one full revolution and then stop somewhere before you hit that second revolution mark. For medium, same thing, two full revolutions and then find your tick marks. And for coarse, you need to do three revolutions and find a good stopping point there. Because it's stepless, you can make those really fine adjustments and really dial it into perfection. So the air grind, like any grinder, has some limitations. Um, in this case, it is, if you're trying to grind for larger batch sizes, you are not capable of doing that with the air grind. You have a, at most a 25 gram hopper capacity, which it being designed for travel, that should be plenty for a single cup on the go. So this is the Knock Air Grind. It is a great travel companion and you can find it online at primacoffee.com. Feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments below and I'll see you next time.